Movie review time, everybody, and we are now here for a new entry in the Beverly Hills Cop movies. We are Beverly Hills Cop Alex F. Alex Foley is back again, back in action with more laughs. We got more of the nostalgic music in the back, more comedy, everything. And this right here, guys, before I get to my reaction, let's get to the quick synopsis of this film. So we got Alex Foley who has to go back to Beverly Hills again. But this time, the reason why he goes back is because his daughter, she's a lawyer. She picks up this case, new case um, and she's trying to defend this guy. You know, he's uh, trying to prove his innocence. So, of course, there's repercussions behind that. Some more conspiracy going on behind the scenes where, you know, she get her life threatened. She almost gets killed. And that's why Beverly, that's why uh, Alex Foley is back to find out, you know, Who's doing? Who's trying to go after? Trying to kill his daughter? He's trying to help his daughter out, and also another character in here, uh, Rosewood, who goes missing as well. Who's also in in the, uh, trying to investigate this case as well, and that's the reason why he's going back to Beverly Hills to figure out what is going on with this whole conspiracy going on with the cops and what is going on surrounding this guy that she's defending. So that's basically what this film's about. And I gotta tell you guys, this right here, guys, I had a lot of fun. This. This is what I'm talking about. This is a Beverly Hills Cop movie. After coming off of the third movie, which did not feel like a Beverly Hills Cop movie whatsoever, there may be people out there that like it. That's fine. Me personally, I never cared for the third film. And this right here has definitely put brought the charm back that made Beverly Hills Cop in the first place. Um, now, I will say one thing. Eddie Murphy's character, Alex Foley, he's still the same Alex Foley. A little bit different in this one. You know, Eddie Murphy's an older guy now. I understand that. So his personality is kind of changed slightly in this movie. He doesn't do the same little wisecracking stuff he did in the first two movies where he get through things, which was hilarious in my opinion. He does a little bit of that in the movie, but not a lot. And also, one little thing I would say, a little minor complaint, really, is that we don't get the little infamous laugh. <laughs> I do the best I can, guys. I'm sorry, I can't do it, really do it. But we don't get the uh, Alex Foley laugh in this one. And I think I think I read somewhere that um, Eddie Murphy said he didn't want to do that anymore. He wanted to see how more the characters has matured now. I think that's what he said in the, in the article. But yeah, I understand that. But I would like to have seen it. I would like to have hear that Alex Foley laugh that we got in the past movies. But that, that's like a little minor complaint. Other than that, I really had fun with this film. Now, I've also said I did. I was expecting to see more of the trio together throughout the movie, but don't expect a lot of that. It was great to see these guys back again, but don't expect too much with that because most of the movie we got Rosewood. He's really out of the movie is that uh, uh, for a while now, and Taggart as well is in the movie, but he's like the new chief in the film as well. But other than that, um, they, they still did a good job with the characters. I really enjoyed it. Um, and also, I would say the newer characters they introduced in this one, I really enjoyed as well. Especially, I like the actress. I'm not too familiar with this actress. I've never seen her in anything else. But the actress that played his daughter, her daughter name, character name was Jane, uh, played by Taylor Page. I don't know what else she's been in, but I really enjoyed her character. Um, you know, she ends up having to re re reconcile with her father, I guess in a way he's kind of, it's something going on in the past between them two that made them estranged. But when they get together, um, it's really heart heart warming in a way, um, because he they started connect again, working together. Because most of the time, in the movie Eddie Murphy's working with his daughter and Joseph Gordon Levitt, who I'm also get to in a little bit. But I really enjoyed her, and also Joseph Gordon Levitt. I just mentioned just now, I really enjoyed him too. I've been watching Joseph Gordon Levitt since he was a kid. I've always enjoyed him and a lot of stuff he's been in. He plays a character named Bobby Abbott. He's a cop that works in the same precinct where Taggart and um, Rosewood work at. And I really enjoyed his character. He partnered, ends up partnering with Alex, and they're pretty good together as well. Pretty funny to get the scene on there. I'm not going to say what it is, but scene on there with a the helicopter, which maybe died laughing. I had a lot of laugh at a lot of moments in this movie as well. Um, another, uh, the villain, Kevin Bacon, plays a villain in this one. And he's really good in this movie. His name is Captain Grant. I really enjoy it. I like Kevin Bacon anyway. And I really they, 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 I really think he did a really good job in this one. Um, of course, we got some other um, side um, characters that returned. We got Paul Reiser again, who was in, he played Jeffrey. You know, he saw him in the first two movies. Took him out in the third movie. Yeah, they, I'm, I don't want to get into that movie. But yeah, we got him back again as well. He's like the new captain, you know, after what happened to Captain Todd in the third film. We got him back. Also, we got um, <laughs> Serge back in this one. Played by Bronson Pinkot. I can never say that guy's name right, but we got him briefly in this one. The scene with him and Alex is pr pretty hilarious as well, like we saw in the first film. So I really enjoyed that. They brought a lot of nostalgic and what made what made the um, uh, Bill Hills Cop series um, 
gave it its charm, gave it what made the movies, that series good, other than what they did in the third movie, which to me is not a Billy Hills Cop film. A lot of familiar locations we saw in this one. We got the little intro we saw like in the first two movies. And I really am so glad and was satisfied that we got that again. Um, but yeah, everything about this movie I really enjoyed. And I'm going to get a little, little bit more spoiler that I was kind of hoping to see this character. I'm not sure if this actor is still alive. So like I said before, this is a whole spoiler review, guys. We do not. So there's no appearance. And I was kind of surprised with this one of Bogomil. I'm not sure if Ronnie Cox. I think he's still, Ronnie Cox is still alive. I should do my research before I, before I did this video. But we do not get Bogomil. He's not even mentioned in this movie. I'm not sure if Ronnie Cox is ill or nothing. He couldn't make a cameo. But I was hoping we saw Bogomil in this one. But he does not make an appearance in this whatsoever. But other than that, that didn't mess the movie up for me, guys. I'm sorry for the long review, guys. I just want to tell you deep into why, why I enjoyed this movie so much. And why this is what I've always wanted in a sequel that we did not get in the third entry. But other than that, guys, if you enjoy Beverly Hills Cop, you just want to see Alex Foley back in action with the comedies. I mean, I'm sorry, not the comedies, the laughs, the action, everything that we got in the, the charm that we got in the first two films. Definitely check this movie out, guys. Recommend it. Definitely is a good Netflix watch. And I would say what I would give this movie, I would definitely give this movie an 8 out of 10. I recommend this, guys. And it even talks about doing a fifth movie. And I, if they do it, I hope they keep it the way it was in the first two movies, and including this one right here. If they can keep that same charm, I'm, I'm all for this. So, yeah, I would give this movie 8 out of 10. Check it out.